Hey guys, I'm Chef Ricky. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Q&A video series. Uh, this week we got a question submitted to us by a gentleman by the name of Brian, who is a Twitter follower. Uh, he submitted his question on Twitter. Uh, his question is, what is the difference in onions? Uh, simply put, there are five categories of onions. Uh, they are based on sweetness and tanginess and spiciness and things along those lines. But there are five major uh, types of onions. Those five major types include red onions, scallions, yellow onions, Vidalia onions, shallots, and a subcategory of shallots would kind of be uh, leeks. So we're going to describe each one of those real quick, um, just in a brief little summary for you guys. Uh, so that you can get a better idea of what type of onion you should use with whatever dish it is that you're making. Uh, the first type is going to be red onions. Uh, red onions are a good choice for using raw, as in salads, garnishes, sauces. Um, they also are great when they have been grilled and they add the bonus of adding color to your dish. Second type is going to be scallions. These are sometimes referred to as green onions. They do have a mild flavor, but it does lend the flavor does lend itself uh, to using it raw, as in you know again with salads and a garnish even for soups and pastas and things along those lines. Uh, scallions are also great when they are added into dishes like stir fries and casseroles and things as well. Uh, the third type of onion is going to be yellow onions. These are full flavored onions that can be put into almost anything. Um, when they're cooked, they do turn a light brown and they add a tangy yet sweetness to your dish. Uh, the fourth type of onion is going to be the Vidalia onion. Uh, Vidalia onions are pretty sweet and the reason for this being is because they're grown in a low sulfur environment. Meaning, uh, the dirt that they're grown in is typically uh, low sulfur and they're grown primarily in Georgia. Uh, Vidalias can be eaten raw and when they're cooked they do make great onion rings as well as uh, caramelized onions and flavors to uh, pastas and casseroles and even roasts. Uh, the fifth type of onion guys is going to be the shallot and this is where the subcategory of leeks kind of falls into. Um, Sometimes, depending on your experience and knowledge uh, of the shallot, it can be mistaken as a garlic. Um, it's not. <laughs> There's obviously a very extreme difference between a shallot and a piece of garlic clove. Um, with that said, shallots do have a sweet and bold flavor. They are ideal for use in sauces and gravies or even sautéed and then added to vegetable dishes or um, side, other side dishes. Now I want to talk just briefly real quick on leeks. Uh, leeks are hardier and bigger than scallions and they are the best when they are sautéed. Um, and you would want to slice them thin and use them as a base for various soups and stews and uh, add to a braised meat dish even. With that said, guys, uh, that pretty much concludes this episode. And if you have any other questions, Brian, please submit them. Uh, you can either do it again the way you did this last week uh, through Twitter. And our Twitter handle, guys, is C Catering C. Or you can submit them through our website on the Q&A page, which uh, we have two forms or two ways for you to be able to submit it there. Um, one of which is through our form. The other is through a direct email. Uh, in addition to that, we are adding a third method for submitting your culinary questions. And you can do that through uh, text, which is going to be really nice for you guys because you can get an answer almost back immediately. So if you're in the kitchen working on something, um, all you got to do is pick up the phone, text us, boom. You'll get a text pretty much immediately within a couple of minutes usually. Um, and that number is 208 Five nine nine three eight eight nine. Again, submit your question via text to two zero eight five nine nine three eight eight nine. 
Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.